Hello everybody, just wanted to follow on from my fake silver video uh, mentioned in there about doing specific gravity tests on coins and so just wanted to talk about this um, Maria Teresa Thaler that I picked up in this fake coin lot uh, these were the other coins I picked up at that lot and you can tell straight away that there, there's something not quite right with them compared with uh, with this coin um, they're just not quite they're not, just not quite right. Uh, first thing I did when I got them was did a quick sort of magnet slide test and uh, this one, as you can see, pretty nice slow uh, roll off the coin, whereas uh, these ones, it just completely flying off really quickly. So that was the first clue. And uh, and that sparked my interest. You see that one, it's just sticking to the coin altogether, Ferris in there. Um, so that sparked my interest in this coin. Why is that um, sliding off there not quite right? And so I wanted to do another test on it. Um, so I did a specific gravity test. Um, if you're wondering what the little string is, I've tied um, a bit of dental floss to it, pre-tied it because it's a bit tricky to tie uh, when under pressure on the camera. Um, so things you're going to need to do a specific gravity test, really easy, really, really easy to do at home. You're going to need weighing scales, preferably accurate to 0.01 grams. It's uh, better when doing these kind of weightages. You need something lightweight that you can put on your scales with some water in it and you need a calculator or if you're brilliant at maths, you don't. Um, your next thing you need to know is you need to know what the silver content is roughly of the coin you're testing. Um, so a bit, bit of research, these Maria Teresa's, they have 0.88, sorry, they have 0.833 uh, silver content and the rest is copper, 0.1166. Uh, so a little bit of maths has shown me that we're looking for about 10.2 as a result here for the specific gravity test. Um, so what you need to do first is weigh the coin. Um, to zero the scales and then weigh the coin. So we've got 27.93 here, uh, probably a little bit extra because of the um, dental floss, but really it's insignificant. Um, so that's the first thing you do. So 27.93, tap that into your calculator. Uh, next thing you do is you put the water on the scales and have it zeroed. So once it's zeroed, you have your coin suspended with something lightweight, very you know thin thread, or I use dental floss, it's just handy, um, and have it suspended like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the water, not touching any of the sides or the bottom, it's very important that doesn't happen, and you're going to record the weight of the coin in the water. So we dip that in just above the meniscus of the water, and we're getting 2.74 as a result. So take that out. You might notice when you take it out the scales aren't zero. That's because there's water left on the coin. You see there a drop coming off. So that's why. So don't worry, your scales aren't wrong. It's just that you're taking some water out of the, uh, out of the cup here. So once you've uh, got your result 2.74 there, you're just going to divide the original weight by the weight of it in water, 2.74. And there you go, we've got 10.19. So pretty close to 10.2, which is exactly what it was meant to be. So there you go. So I think that's pretty conclusive proof that this uh, this supposedly fake coin, which I got as part of a lot of, of uh, four coins for £1.99, is pure well, it's real silver. So this 50p coin that cost me is actually worth probably about 12, 15 quid in raw silver. So yeah, really happy with that. And that's how you do a specific gravity test. Really very easy. Anyway, thank you very much. Any questions, do let me know.